In this tutorial, we're gonna go over four motion graphic shape animations that you can use to enhance any of your projects in After Effects. So if you need some backgrounds or you need some shapes to help make your explainer videos pop, these four motion graphics will help take your projects to the next level and the next dimension. Dude, we're still in 2D, calm down. What's up everybody, this is Jordan Bertone with Sonduck Film. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave a comment. It helps out the channel a lot, and it keeps Josh from firing me and putting me back out on the streets. Dude, you were hired? I thought you just started breaking in here and taking over the studio. All right, so to get started, the first thing we're gonna do is make these waving shape layers to put in the background of our composition. Before we make the shape layer, let's create a background layer by going to Layer, New, Solid, click OK, then go up to Effect, Generate, Gradient Ramp. We'll set the start color to a really dark blue and the end color to a dark purple, then set the end of ramp to be far off to the bottom right of the composition. To start on our shape layer, select the pen tool, make sure fill is set to solid color and stroke is set to none. Then what we're going to do is draw a wavy shape that fills up the bottom left corner of the screen. Make it nice and big because we're going to be layering more shapes on top of it. Next we'll rename the shape layer to bottom one, then go to effect, generate, gradient ramp, effect, distort, turbulent displays, and effect, perspective, drop shadow. Set the start of the gradient ramp to be up and to the right of the shape layer. Set the end of ramp to be down and to the left of the shape layer. We'll set the start color to a light blue and the end color to a dark turquoise. Set the size of the turbulent displace to 285, then alt click the stopwatch for evolution and type in time asterisk 35 into the expression controls panel. For the drop shadow, set the opacity to 100%, direction to 55 degrees, distance to 10, and softness to 150. Now that we have our first shape layer set up, let's duplicate it by pressing Ctrl D, select the pen tool, then click and drag the different points of the shape layer to make it look unique from the first shape layer. After changing the shape, go to the effect controls panel, open the evolution options for turbulent displace, and change the random seed to a different number so the animation becomes unique. Now duplicate the shape layer again, use the pen tool to adjust the shape for a third unique look, change the random seed for the turbulent displace again, and we're also going to change the colors of the gradient ramp to a dark blue and a pure black. Lastly, set the opacity of bottom 2 to 55% and the opacity of bottom 1 to 45% so each layer has a different level of color to them. And now you have this cool layered waving shape layer to fill out the background of your composition. Next up, we're going to add a title animation to our composition and we can do that easily by using the AdamX extension with our Motion Graphics Professionals pack. All you need to do is find a title animation that you like and click apply. Once it's out on the timeline, you can customize it with our easy to use control layers and in no time at all you'll have an awesome custom title animation for your composition. You can also use the professionals pack to add accent motion graphics to your project easily just like the ones we're going to be making in this video. Check out the link in the description or visit sonduckfilm.com for more info. Now that we have our background and title layer, I'm going to show you some techniques to make a few different shape layers to fill up our composition like this. The first shape we'll make is a plus symbol. Start out by selecting the rounded rectangle tool, then click and drag to create a small and thin line. Hold down the control key and double click the pan behind tool to center the anchor point, then open up the shape layer, contents, highlight rectangle 1, duplicate it, open it up, open the transform, then set the rotation to 90 degrees. Press R to adjust the rotation of the whole shape layer, alt click the stopwatch, and type in time asterisk 35 so it will constantly rotate. Go to effect, generate, gradient ramp, we'll set the start color to a light blue, the end color to a dark blue, put the start of ramp at the top of the plus, and the end of ramp at the bottom. Use the align tab to center the shape layer, then right click it, select pre-compose, set the name to plus, and click OK. Now that the plus is created, you just need to adjust the scale and position with the S and P keys on your keyboard, then duplicate it and repeat this process until you've filled the composition with shapes. The next shape we'll make is a simple circle. Start by selecting the ellipse tool, make sure fill is set to none, stroke is set to solid color, stroke width is set to 20, then hold shift and click and drag to create a perfect circle. Instead of centering the anchor point for the circle, we're going to select the pan behind tool and move the anchor point to be a bit above the circle. This will make it so that the circle rotates around the anchor point in a clock-like motion. Highlight the circle, press V to change to the selection tool, 
click and drag the circle so that the anchor point is at the center of the composition. Press R to open the rotation. Alt click the stopwatch and type in time asterisk 40. Go to effect, generate, gradient ramp. We'll set the start color to a light blue, the end color to a very dark blue, then put the start of ramp above the anchor point and the end of ramp below it. Now right click the shape layer, select pre-compose, name the pre-comp to circle and click OK. Lastly, just like before, adjust the scale and position of the circle, then duplicate it and repeat until you've filled the composition with the circles. The final shape layer we'll make is a line that will animate using the Trim Paths tool. Start by selecting the Pen tool, make sure Fill is set to None, Stroke is set to Solid Color, Stroke Width is set to 15, then hold Shift and click twice to create a straight horizontal line like this. Hold Ctrl and double click the Pan Behind tool to center the anchor point. Use the Align panel to center the line, then open up the Shape layer and click Add, Trim Paths. Open the Trim Paths, set a keyframe for End, set End to 0%, move forward a bit in the timeline, set End to 100%, move forward a few more frames and select the Add Keyframe button. Go to the start of the timeline, set a keyframe for Start, move forward a few frames, select the Add Keyframe button, move to the final keyframe for end, and then set start to 100%. Highlight all of the keyframes, press F9 to make them easy ease keyframes, open the graph editor tool, then pull the right side of both curves all the way inward to smooth out the animation. Hold down the Alt key, click the stopwatch next to start, type in a loop out with a capital O, open parentheses, close parentheses, then do the same thing for the end keyframe. This will make it so that the animation loops. Go to Effect, Generate, Gradient Ramp, set the start and end colors to a light and dark blue again, then set the start and end of ramp to be at the left and right of the line. Right click the shape layer, select Pre-Compose, name the pre-comp to Line, click OK, change the scale as well as the position, then duplicate and repeat this until you fill the composition with lines. Now you have this awesome composition filled with shape layers to use for your projects in After Effects. And there you have it, four shape techniques in four minutes in 2D time. If you didn't know, time moves slower in 3D. Josh wrote that joke. I hope you enjoy the video. Be sure to suplex that subscribe button. We post two post-production tutorials a week. You can also hit us up on our Instagram. I post short tutorials on there as well. And remember, always be creating.